Welcome everyone, my name is Kylo. Today in Description Casey Mod, we are doing another random run. Challenges today, fewer items, no clover, pricey pelts, lost totems, tip scales, no rares, difficulty plus two, one candle, annoying, and royal. And waterborne deck. Okay, with annoying, that's not good. But you know what, an unkillable skink is good. This serpent totem is very nice. Boy. Alright. First off, skink here. We crack in there. Hopefully we roll for a bell. And we did. And that's five damage. Ooh. Direwolf? Bloodhound. Bloodhound works. Ooh. Spike or fledgling? Fledgling. Yes, we are in for some fun with a skink run. And a wriggling tail. <laughs> Wakens up to become an elder wriggling tail, which is just enough to take out that direwolf pup. Okay. We'll just do this. Then we can play our kingfisher, fly over, and keep on moving. What do we have? Ooh, another skink. We go for a mega skink? I think so. But in the meantime, let's get this cockroach placed on our skink. I would love to have an unkillable tail. Very nice. Alright. You shall go here. I guess it really doesn't matter. Oh, I would have blocked both attacks. That's okay. See, and now our wriggling tail has perpetual growth potential as well. What is our elder skink, actually? If. Do this. Actually, you know what, Kingfisher? I don't want you. Onto the board, we'll do Bloodhound. Wolf comes in. Not enough. And then, boom. Elder skink. Again. And Queen is okay. Yes, power. I know who's getting power. Oh. Can we burn the Kraken? No. Need to get rid of those kingfishers, however, at some point here. Maybe we can get them fused and then transferred away. We can wait. We are okay. We are very okay. We can just keep building our wriggling tail. Actually, where are you, Bloodhound? There we go. We're going to do this. Keep an, Get an extra open lane so we can get both our tail and our skink out there. Come on, Packing. Get out of the way. Don't want starvation here. Alright. Gun. Our Bloodhound's gone. He's came back. But that is okay. We have five damage. 
Dire direwolf. We'll go direwolf. Corpse maggots. Yes. Black goat. Yeah, we gotta get rid of, get rid of these kingfishers. If you want to keep doing it this way, we certainly can. I don't want to. Oh, that's right. Bill Kraken. No longer submerged. That's alright, though. Oh, right. Uh, Ink Fisher. Yeah, you can go there. I, oh, I keep forgetting Elder Skink is gonna wipe the board before you even can take a hit. All right, though that's okay though. So this is kind of turned into a uh, Skink's spotlight run. So everyone is right. Oh, can't level them up again. So, let's get this skink as powerful as possible. Eh, bones. Let's try and not get a card, actually. Or not. Maybe we get something good. Not a bad corpse maggots, actually. You'll take that. There is... These are Kingfishers. Now we need to get a transfer and another fusion and then a bunch of Bone Lord altars or transfers. A coyote. Alright, we can handle a coyote. Especially when we do this. Alright. Or a tail. There, wolf. Get our ants. Get our skink. Should have placed skink and ant queen in different spots. That's alright, though. We're gonna get plenty of teeth. River Snapper it is. It would be worth burning Great Kraken. There we are. I know ideally we'd want to get Skink on the bonfire, but getting Skink into our opening hand is more important than just raw attack power. Because honestly, with Unkillable and Fledgling, it will make up it will make up for any lost power very, very quickly. Especially, we do this, and they just fledgling all over again. That sounded wrong. Something great. Another corpse maggots. Do I really need another one? Rat King. Rat King. Let's try it. Maybe that would be good. Fisher. You didn't help much, so thank you anyway. Uh, dams, I suppose, but fledgling is great and we're gonna stick with it uh, the skink doesn't help us though in this fight unless we hit let it get hooked and then we kill it uh, 
That seems like a pain. That feels like a real pain. And we need, what can we do with this? The squirrel there. Blackout. Ant queen. Or an ant. And orbs maggots. Ooh, we got a rabbit with death touch. I don't know. <laughs> it works. Well, if we had a card with leader, that would help. Ooh, Elder Ant Queen. Definitely can survive a turn. But in the meantime... Yes, our Elder Ant Queen still has two power. Snapper, my turtle. We'll just do. We'll do River Snapper. Why not? Let's see. Power, Blood, Bones. We can get any of these. So, power. I think we have a lot of low power. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, there's a good chance we're going to win any of those. Pork. <laughs> For the brainworm and the porcupine, they're not terrible, but we're gonna go with cockroach. Alright, well, first here, here we go. Skink. Now, we don't have a lammer, so bones actually doesn't do us much good. So we might as well just go with eternal. Skink, you will go there. This skink. You'll go here, that tail there. And we'll keep on going. Skinks have this. Adder. Yes. Bleach. Ah, uh, birds. Let's see. Well, we can handle birds. Especially with that cuckoo blocking that alpha, unless she misplayed horribly. Um. We have one candle, and we can buy the knife if the next, because uh, we're going to hit the trapper, so we'll just buy the knife. That'll work. Eventually. Okay, you know what? How about this? Uh, there. And now it's seven. All right, now we're good to go. So you definitely want the knife. 14. There is a traitor. Do we want to mess with that? No. Yes, please. Eternal skinks, which means eternal tails, which means eternal leveling up. Our skink knows no bounds. 
Moose Buck and Mole Man. Oh no. That's perfect for our skink deck run here. Let's see. Trip Snapper, you can go there. Skink and Tail. There we are. Oh yes, it's it's an inverted hydra. So instead of the heads continuously growing, it's the tails. The tails will perpetually keep growing on this skink. All right, blood, bone, health, health, health is our best bet. Maybe we get lucky and we get a really awesome skink diffuse. There's two fusions up ahead, so you can get one. Corpse eating many lives, Lammer. Yes. I don't think we have anybody to fuse, do we? Oh, our river snappers. I completely forgot about you two. Yep, so what do you have? Backup direwolf. Yes. Ah, uh, Lammer. You know what, though? You, I think you'll survive, though. Yeah, it's a fledgling serpent off, and mine's going to win. Oh, right. Right. Forgot about that. Forgot about that. Yeah, I forgot that they have fledgling. <laughs> I can't let them level up. That would be very, very, very bad. Yeah, that works out just fine. We get the pelt, Elder Skink comes in, get the tail. Even got the overflow damage because there's a card in the slot. Drew our other pelt. We are good to go. Hey, don't hit Lammer. I was debating whether or not to play Cockroach or not. I was just like, ooh, one extra point. Actually, I was kind of hoping to it's bifurcated, though. Wouldn't trip the trap. Yay. I'll play him anyway. Oh, right, that weakened Lammer. So we actually got minus one offense there. Who do we have? Another direwolf, another river snapper. Definitely not doing black goat. We'll do direwolf. Alright, question. Do we trade in the pelt? Do we go for an item? Or do we transfer? What would we transfer? Let's say. Add her onto River Snapper. I'd rather just get an item. Something good. Like the bones. I want to play Cockroach. No reason not to. Well, yeah. It would hurt Lammer in the long run. Oops. There's Ant Queen. Okay. So. Ant 
we will put you here. And there. Skink here, tail there. Everyone's alive and happy. Our skink grows with each season. Tail didn't grow. Oh, that's right, because can So cannons must... Oh, they happen after. So that happens during our upkeep. I don't know, sometimes this game is just kind of... How to say it? It doesn't fit how I would think the turn setup would be. Nothing that's wrong with that, but it's just not what I'd expect to have order of operations. But then again, though, maybe I'm thinking wrong. Maybe I'm thinking of it too much like other card game systems, and it's just really like... Maybe it's not as clear-cut my turn, Lushy's turn, as you would think. Uh, seven. That's not enough damage. Should've just used Bleach on the Mole Man. Because, no, we're not going to bleach the the ship. We got to let... Let's see. How about this? There we go. Just get this. Well, the thing is, is the skink and the tails, their HP is going to be so high, they're never going to replace each other. <laughs> well, let's see. Is there something we can do about that? I'm thinking, do we have any way with two? Actually, I need somebody else with two. Actually, no. I didn't need that. I needed an empty space for Elder State. And I keep doing this wrong. There. That's what I want. The whole board. Hey, that wriggling tails. Oh, it's going to get replaced by Lammer, though. Oh, well. If it, if we had to worry about that. Well, there we go. Impromptu Skink Spotlight Run completed. Uh, so thank you so much, everyone, for joining me. If you have any ideas for runs you'd like to see or want to let me know what types of runs you want to see more of, feel free to leave a comment down below, like, and subscribe to see more, and I will catch you later in the next episode.